Welcome to the forge, my wanton wildlings. I'm your creepsmith, and I hope you like my work. There are many needs that animal life forms have. If you're dealing with sentient animals, like humans, you'll have to remember to add desires to that list. How many times have you heard someone tell you how they need this or that? One of these supposed needs that we've grown accustomed to is safety, security. The knowledge that one is protected from whatever. Some will go so far as to risk everything for it, as in tonight's nocturnal naughtiness, the man in the fields ritual. This ritual has been passed down throughout the centuries, and originates from the British Isles during the Middle Ages, where it was viewed as devil worship by Puritans and a way to protect your home by those who knew that what was really standing in their fields was not the devil. If completed successfully, the ritual will ensure you one year of safety, physical, fiscal, and or mental depending on the events during the ritual. You will need a house in the countryside, preferably with crops out back. Technically, all that's required is a large backyard, the larger the better, but success has only come from houses in the countryside. You will also need a candle. Attempting to use a flashlight, cell phone, or any other electronic source of light will be unsuccessful, causing the light source to flicker and die after only a few seconds, which is why either a candle an oil lamp, or some sort of non-electric illumination is recommended. A crucifix. I'll explain why later. You will also need a watch or clock to carry around with you, preferably spring-driven and mechanical. Again, cell phones will not work during the ritual. To begin this ritual, make sure that it's late enough for no one around to be outside and make sure that the sun has set. The being the ritual is based around will not appear if anyone other than the summoner is around to detect its presence. The earliest successful summoning has occurred at 9 o'clock. Light your candle, go out into your yard and whisper seven times, but who will scare the crows away while facing your house? On the seventh whisper you should hear from behind you, that's not your biggest problem. Walk back to the house without looking back. As soon as you reach the house, get inside and close the door. Now, the ritual begins. You will notice that everything in your house that can open, has opened. Take your crucifix into a room with only one door, close the door, and leave it there. That will be your safe room in case the ritual goes wrong. Make sure all the doors, cupboards, cabinets, and whatever else that can open is closed in that room. If he gets into your safe room, you're doomed. Your goal is to close everything that is opened before your watch reaches midnight. This sounds easy in description, but think about it. Every bag, every door, every window, every box, every container in your house has just opened. The challenge isn't closing them all. It's remembering the things that need to be closed. As you make your way through your darkened house, you will notice, out of the corner of your eye, you will be able to see a man dressed in simple farmer's clothes. His skin is ash gray. Don't look at him, and whatever you do, don't look directly into his eyes. But don't be afraid of him. This is not the man in the fields. He's merely a herald, a referee of sorts, to make sure that you're closing every container. He will be following you, but will not get in your way. Make sure not to look out into your backyard. If you do, you will notice that there's a scarecrow that wasn't there before. Its head is a cow's skull, and its limbs are impossibly long versions of a human being's arms and legs. While the skin on its arms and legs is pale, they're not skeletal. The only thing that's missing is a head. If you fail the ritual, or do not reach your safe room in time, he will take yours. The reason that I was telling you not to look out at the backyard is that you will notice the scarecrow, and he will also notice you. He will then begin to get off his post. This is the man in the fields. If you don't look at the backyard, don't see the post or the scarecrow, you will have until midnight to complete the ritual. 
If you are 100% sure that everything in your house that can open has closed, make your way to your bed and go to sleep. Now, for exactly one year, you will have complete and total safety in everything you do depending on when you started the ritual. If you started three hours from midnight, you will only be completely physically safe. A lot of people have used this to elongate their lives past where they would normally end. People like cancer patients or the elderly. If you started two hours from midnight, you will not only be physically safe, but financially safe for an entire year. You could quit your job and still never have a need for money. Either you would win the lottery, or people would just feel compelled to give you things for free. However, you will need to set up a plan for the end of the year as your safety will wear off then and you will lose all the money that you've won. Make sure to either set up a business or make some smart investments. If you started the ritual one hour for midnight and somehow managed to finish it, which is highly unlikely, you will be completely and totally safe for one year. None of your actions will ever have any negative consequences. I'd tell you not to do anything immoral, but if you're going to go through your entire house in one hour and somehow manage to close all of the boxes, doors, windows, cupboards, bags, cabinets, and drawers, then you can do whatever you want. If you did look out at the backyard, if you saw the man in the fields, you won't get any of this, not even if you finish the ritual. If you look out at the backyards, the man in the fields will get down off his scarecrow post. He will look at you and he will begin sprinting. You have about a minute at most to get to your safe room. Run inside and lock it tight and double check to see if everything inside is closed. You do not want him getting in. You will have to endure him scratching and clawing at the door, shrieking threats and making promises of mercy if you open the door. Whatever he says or does, do not open the door. There is no circumstance in which you should leave your safe room to confront the man in the fields. Good luck and stay safe. For everything there is a price, and bargains attempted need not be nice. Remember, children, that which has the power to help also has the power to harm. Stay scary, my wildlings. Don't mess with the scarecrow. And make the most of your nights.